Tucci, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And we're very sorry, we're trying out lots of new things here in the Batucci household. And we had a couple of technical errors. There's something else we need to do with Facebook. So sorry with all our Facebook peeps, we will fix that by the time we go live next week. But welcome to you all. This is very IRL in real life. <laughs> it's it's very real it's a different camera as you can see but I think we're gonna have a lot clearer image because I know a lot of you have been telling me that you watch this on your TV so now now I'm gonna be clear I'm gonna be like 1080 whatever that means <laughs> hello to you all and the cool thing is, is I can add all your hellos to the broadcast look how cool you all look on here Minda's here from Honolulu. I'm so jealous right now. Can I please be there? <laughs> please let me come. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to be playing around today so that we can see how this all works um, because we're using a completely different system, completely different camera. Um, sounds like our sound is good. I, I just think I'm very, very excited. I, I feel like it needs a round of applause. Good job, Greg. Well done, Kylie. Now, do we have our Beveragino? I think we need our Beveragino. <laughs> hello, hello. And I've got a really great card to show you today. So stick around. And if you're watching the replay, then you can just fast forward my jibber jabber. But, you know, majority of you here love my jibber jabber because you never know what can come out. But this is the card that we're going to be making together today. And it's called a Z-Fold card. I actually did this with, um, was introduced to it by our team member, Sue Vine. Uh, she's actually in our tutorial bundle or our class bundle, I should say, um, group, our All Stars class bundle. And it opens a bit like this. So you've got one side and the other side. So I'm going to show you how to do it because it's actually really, really simple to do. It looks complicated and... Do you notice the products here, people? We've got brand new products. We're playing with new products. Because always, we've got, always got to play with new products, right? <laughs> it's very exciting. Now, before we jump in, because we've got this really cool thing that Bruno set up here. It's a bit exciting. We just want to remind you. <laughs> there's new celebration products, people. So you can go to the store. Every $90 or $180 order you place. You can go here and get all of these amazing goodies here and here all around me so that you can enjoy. Yes, I know. Look at all these. Look at all these brand new products. Go get them. All freezies. And um, don't forget too that if you shop with us, you also get a handmade card. You get a free class bundle, 12 classes. And what else do you get? Loyalty vouchers. Yeah, lots of love. You get lots of love from us. Now, what else is here? We've got... A joining offer, people! Oh, bravo! So the joining offer at the moment, you'll see it come up on the screen here, but there's a few options, and I think the few options might have confused a few of you. But just keep in mind, if you want a mini, either the boho blue or the basic white, then you're going to pay $210 and then get $315 of whatever you want. It is $315, isn't it? Does it even say it on there? That's a bit dumb if it doesn't. But anyway, you do get $315 of whatever you want. And then the third option, you only pay $169 and then get $315 worth of products. So it's a really, really great deal at the moment. So I think that, yeah, why wouldn't you? Go and get yourself a bargain. We've had, I think, about 14 new team members join our team in the last month or two, and it's only till the end of February. So we would love for you to come and join us. Bruno did an amazing um, effort sending out some welcome packs to our new ones. Um, in fact, part of it is this gorgeous card here. Welcome to the team using the brand new celebration paper that you can earn for free, but it's very cute. It's got a little message inside for you when you join our team. 
So we only have, um, I think Bruno said eight of these left. So are you going to be one of the eight? You better hop to it and get one of these cards before they all disappear. <laughs> now, one other thing before, oh no, there's two other little promos here. But I did want to mention this beautiful wreath um, kit that has come out. So if you weren't aware about of that one, then definitely go and get this because it's out now. And I've seen people use it for a card. So if you don't want a wreath, I'm not a wreath girl. I'm totally going to be using my kit for a card. And I saw it, um, was it Tammy from Artisan? Hewitt, Hewitt. Hewitt. Anyway, I will look for her name and I'll try and get the link because it was absolutely stunning. Just gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm going to get it just for making a card. I don't want a wreath on my wall. I want a card made with those flowers. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to get. <laughs> and the last thing here is this amazing thing here, which is the online extravaganza. <laughs> and this is what our focus is today. So... All of this product is going to be coming out on the 1st of May for customers. However, for demonstrators worldwide, we can get all of these products now. Just these products on the screen. There's going to be more released on the 1st of March, which all of us are highly anticipating and we can't wait to get our hands on. Now, just to explain a little bit about these online exclusives. Firstly, they're not in a catalogue because they're an online exclusive, so they're only going to be found online. And we don't know their expiry date. So depending on how popular they are, depends on how long they stay. Um, yeah, what the stock is, whether they restock it. So this is one of these things where you do not want to delay. In fact, I say that about all of our Stampin' Up! products. If there's something you really, really love and you really want, please don't wait because it could sell out. It really could, and it happens all the time in the US. Not hugely here in Australia, but it could be the one time that it does sell out or they don't restock it, and bah, 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 then you're going to miss out. And you can't blame me. <laughs> Only yourself, because you didn't go grab it. So we have got these brand new products here today, and I'm going to be showing you each one of these because they're gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. So let's jump in and I will show you. Hello, Bruno Batucci. We have royalty in the chat. Who, who do we have here? Oh, Gina's here. Hello, Gina. Yay. We love seeing Gina Hawley. We've got our event coming up. Oh, Gina Hawley's in the house. <laughs> I saw the baby bump. Oh, my goodness. You look so stinking cute. How can you look that adorable and be pregnant? <laughs> I'd be all puffy and swollen and barely able to walk. <laughs> Everyone would be like, oh, you're glowing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we are going to jump in here and have a look at these beautiful products because oh, they are just the best. So let me just angle my my beautiful light here of different we've got different light settings and everything so um yes i absolutely love this so firstly this was with this so you've got this this and the dies all collected together so we're going to have a play of that today the paper and the dies as you can see with this beautiful card here it lends itself really well to this Z Fold card. And how did I do these flowers? Because, you know, what's interesting about this paper is it gave us a clue of what's returning, which is a pretty peacock. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! All we need back is lemon lime twist and I'll be a happy girl. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> pretty peacock was one of my absolute favourites. Now, we've also got this beautiful naturally gilded designer series paper as well. So look at that. You get six sheets, which I think is very generous. I was thinking it was going to be four sheets, but that is absolutely gorgeous. And I've seen people already using this and sponging it, and it looks absolutely divine. 
oh, it's just gorgeous. So you're going to want to add that to your cart. Now, for those of you who are customers of ours or are thinking about being customers, the only way you can get your hands on these products right now and the only reason why I'm showing you these products is because you'll need to join. That's the only reason. So all those demonstrators out there who haven't got these products, um, why not? You have a privilege to go and get all of these products. And the amazing Bruno, of course, he's gone and done this this morning for me. But these are the 3D um, embossing folders that you can get on the online exclusive. And he's even done some prototypes for us. Good job, Bruno. Yay! So I'm going to be using that clapping sound on you constantly because you're just amazing. And this one here, I love, I love, love, love this. And then you've got the basics 3D. Isn't there so many things to be excited about with Stampin' Up! right now? Holy moly. This one I think would lend itself to a sea one as well because they look like little um, starfish. But they could also be like little stars in the night. So it could be a night a night feature as well. But yes, they are absolutely amazing. And I know a lot of you have been asking for numbers. Well, you've got it. Here are your numbers and some letters as well. So this is great for personalizing cards or projects that you have, 3D projects. And I'm so wrapped to see that they're in polymer, Bruno. Good job. Was there a choice? Could you choose between two? Well, oh, they're a lot bigger in person, aren't they? Oh, look at those. They look fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. So much better than the front cover. Oh. That is the perfect size for card making. That's brilliant. So there you go. They're all the new goodies that we have got this week. And I'm so thrilled. So if you're on the fence about joining Stampin' Up! at the moment with the special, particularly because there's a special just till the end of this month, hopefully that gets you over the line. Right? Come on now. Come and join us. <laughs> Donna says, lovely embossing folders and I agree Donna they are absolutely gorgeous why is my little mouse where is he gone come here little one oh there you are we'll add that one to the <laughs> to your broadcast <laughs> so I'm just gonna scooch this over a little bit so I can see your comments even better move that out of the way I'll be tweaking constantly Bruno will be like don't touch anything <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but that is a lot better. <laughs> I can see all your... Oh, Joanna hasn't seen the classic letters available. Yes, we've got those, so they must be available. What was the code for the classic letters? I'll give you the, I'll give you the number here at the bottom if you can read it. Can you read that? 161267. Hopefully it's the same as other countries look how clear that is that's unbelievable can't believe you can see that don't touch anything Kylie and someone said I would love to know the size and I'm sure you're from the US so they're about an inch an inch in height and obviously they're going to be different widths but the G is a width an inch wide your O is almost an inch and in centimeters that's about yeah, two and a half centimetres. So, yeah, two and a half centimetres or an inch is how the big how big the letters are. So, happy shopping, people. If you haven't been shopping already, I'm very excited for you. And if you aren't a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, happy joining. <laughs> if you need some help, I've got a video on how to join and step-by-step. -step. If you have any questions, just email us. Stampin' Up! can help. We can help. Please don't struggle with trying to join up because we are here to help. Yes. Good. Now, am I missing any comments here? Oh, good morning, Jackie. And you've got to look it up now, Johanna. That's fantastic. And hello there, Kayla. Oh, so nice. Lovely embossing folders. <laughs> so Eric. Sound effects. Yay! I need I need a um one that's like a, a yay. I've got this one. This one's fun. <laughs> but I need I need a woo! 
And I need to do one that is a type of Fabergino because I think it is. Britta, there's something missing from my hand here. I need to go get my Brevagino. <laughs> I'm going to pour myself one. What are you all having today? Tell me your Brevaginos of choice. I want to hear from you all. What are you all drinking? Yeah, Brenna has done an amazing, amazing job. Like, so cool. And I've got little buttons here that I can press. And I can even, like, move my face out of the way. Bye. <laughs> like it's the best this is all I've ever wanted <laughs> so I'm just gonna I did try and get rid of my squeak but you know squeak the squeaky wheel it's still happening so I'm gonna grab my <gasps> OSR cup because it's not long till you can sign up people April 1st <gasps> put it in the diary that's when you can sign up uh, it's going to be the 24th and 25th of April. Well, it's really cool because I can have my... Oh, I didn't even bring my phone, but I was like, yay, I can bring my phone in here. I can look at calendar notes, but of course I left it in the bedroom somewhere. <laughs> oh, Kylie. <laughs> what do we do with Kylie? I can try and look professional, but whether the actual content will be professional, well, you know... We'll just call it, I don't say how to on my YouTube videos. I say um, entertainment. <laughs> so let me entertain you. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, everyone. Happy, happy to be of assistance. <laughs> so we're going to use, I thought, you know, in true Kylie style, rather than using the same exact items that I've used already on this, let's use the pink part of it like the flirty flamingo and the petal pink because they are the two colors in this set and let's have a look at the papers up close and personal so I can bring back my little light here now because we don't have reflectors but I was thinking about I really love oh I think that needs to go on the front cover that one is so pretty isn't it and that could go somewhere inside oh my goodness look at that one so that's what I kind of did with my when I was doing the pretty peacock one which if you haven't heard of this color it's pointing to a color refresh that is coming ah yes we all love a color refresh oh my light is like a disco today it wants to have a little party <laughs> yeah, I'm switching over to pink, everyone. <laughs> I know, it's a shock. <laughs> You've all got me. I really like this one, but I don't really want to bring in too much of the... I think it must be Crushed Curry or maybe Daffodil Delight, that colour. So we'll leave that one out. This one I don't mind. Have we got this one here? And then there's the colours there. So Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon. Ah, oh, that's an, is that a new one coming back? We don't have Lost Lagoon at the moment, do we? That's a bit exciting. Um, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock and Soft Sea Foam. So we've got Soft Sea Foam. Yeah, I didn't realise about the Lost Lagoon. So that's coming back as well. That's a bit exciting. Oh, cinnamon cider. That is a very pretty color, color, Becky. Who else wants a certain color to return? Does anyone else want lemon lime twist? I really want lemon lime twist. Yes, I am happy too, Patricia. Very, very happy. Happy. <laughs> I can hear a vacuum cleaner in the background. Not this house. Yes, coffee maker. <laughs> It's brewing my coffee in my craft. Yes, I have my own coffee machine in the craft room. It's a necessity. Next, all I need is a chocolate fountain and I'm set. That's, yeah, I think it's my prerogative to have these things. <laughs> oh, Jesse Scott. Yes, can't wait for it. Yeah, you will love it. This is very much your paper too. So what else did everyone say they're drinking? Someone said, <laughs> what's this one, Bruno? <laughs> I 
I want to. I want to try and work out how you would pronounce it. <laughs> I want to. I want to say it in Bruno's accent. So what is it? Los Lagoon. Oh, I see. Now I've got you. I'm looking. If I look at the back, I bet you that's the German way of saying Lost Lagoon. Lugan Lugabla. <laughs> is that how you say it in German or is that French? Lugan Lugan Ugan Bleu. Bleu. I think that must be French. It's got to be French because it's Bleu. <laughs> I like a bit of Bleu. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I I don't even remember Lost Lagoon, Jesse. It was before your day. <laughs> oh, you really like old Regal Rose and the perfect reddish ring, uh, reddish pink. Oh yes, is that the um Rococo Rose? It's a, it's a bit like Boho Blue Rococo Rose. <laughs> Stampin' Up! do make the loveliest papers. They do. So let's get down to business, people. Let's get down, let's get down to business. So what we're going to do, and what I thought was the easiest, is just cut your paper like you would normally cut it. Do I want it this way? Yes. So just your normal cut when you're cutting your cardstock in half. Okay, so whatever cardstock you've got, so you don't actually need a measurement. Isn't that exciting? <gasps> yes, we love that. But we will work out together the next measure because there is one measurement that you have to keep in mind. Now, all I did was, for me, it's very technical, <laughs> but all I did was turn this on the corner. So I want it in the corner and I could just chop wherever I want here. So if I want a quite a, a deep Z, and I don't want too much of a front cover. So you've got to think about what you're putting on your front cover. So I've got two flowers I'm adding and the sentiment. So you can see here the edge. Oh, actually, yes, I have cut it wrong. <laughs> I'm glad I opened this. I was like, why does this feel so short? I would have re I would have realized it eventually. Should we move to Flirty Flamingo as the card base? <laughs> Hang on, let me see what it looks like. I think I might actually... T yeah, let's just go to Flirty Flamingo then. So we cut it in half, but we cut it... Oh, no, we cut it at the normal size, but on this way. Okay, with you, Kylie. I did practice. Hi, Bruno Vitucci. Hi. Rococo Rose. Is this that length? Yes, um, you're behind. Okay, sorry. I will catch up sorry. eventually. <laughs> You'll you'll Hi, hear everyone. me in a minute. You'll hear me in a minute. Go yeah. ah! <laughs> it did say that there was no delay, but clearly there is a little bit of a delay. So anyway, that is what you do. So normal card size, but on the long side. So you're going to be left with a a piece. It may not look like this, depending on if you're in the US and Canada. It might be a little bit smaller or bigger, and um. <laughs> Myra, uh, Patricia, I really like that. I think, yes, I should definitely have a chocolate fountain. So I'll just like reach over with my marshmallows and go like this and eat it as I'm talking to you all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, you're a bit slow. Come on. <laughs> that was me, people. <laughs> So we want to have a nice front cover, but we can always go deeper and then to go smaller. But that is literally, we're just eyeballing it. See how I'm going from one end to the other. I'll do a Bruno and I'll go landscape for you all so that we can see it all happening in the flesh. And I'll even move my face out of the way. <gasps> Get rid of that face. <laughs> so that is just a complete estimate totally making it up now when i i have noticed with cutting and this is a little tip for you that i just score it first and i just find it glides a lot easier just a little tip it, it, particularly if you're doing basic white or something like that i just find it is very very helpful now with this paper obviously i'm using the metric size and in australia our size is just under, so it's 27, 29.7. Uh, 
but looking at this it's 29.8 so it's a little bit tricky to make sure that I get this lined up but all I did was just go um, one under so I scored at 9.9 .9. So I didn't do it at 10. It would have been great if it's like 30 centimetres. I don't know who made up all these numbers, but they're really annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying, people who made up the numbers for our metric. So we might have a little like inch of an overhang, but we shall see. Now on your, for all of you um, US peeps, I want the Brains Trust to help us here. If you're cutting your full length, what, what would that be? 11 inches? So you're 11 inches by 3. What would you end up doing? Three. It, would it work out 3.5? 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Is it 3.5 that you would score? If I got that right, I'm literally going to be so on myself right now. Is it 3.5 inches? I'll be shocked if I get it right. But anyway, this is the fold that I'm referring to. And you can have it like either way. Like there's no real, like you have to have it this way. Oh, I really like that. I think that's good. You happy with that, everyone? So you've got a little bit of a, so it's actually a little bit less, but I don't mind that. I think that looks fine. It's sort of telling you where to open it. <laughs> open here. And you could decorate it and put a flower there and no one will even know. What? 3.66 in, oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Three and two thirds of it. Oh, that's not too bad. What could you, could you cut it down so that it's like an exact three? Where would it be an exact three? Because you can cut it down if you want to as well. You don't have to keep it at the 11 inches. So we'll work it out for you. Tell me, tell me the best number. But yes, I, I have found, keep it as it is and score at 9.9. .9. And you've got this. But how do we, how do we do the paper? Well, let me show you peeps. You will be so impressed. So we're just going to cut it down because we did it at 9.9. .9. Um, so I'm just going to do it three less. And the front cover is a little bit less than that. So we'll just do it at 9.5 for the front cover. And that should sit nicely with a nice border there. Now, I just eyeballed it and looked at the border and lifted it up a bit. So see how I've got a little bit extra here. And ready? Da, 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 da. This is the technical move. And I learnt this from our friend Lisa Curcio. Just get your pencil. Ta da And that is where we're going to be cutting it, people. And that is, is as technical as I got with my cutting. I just found that that was just the easiest way to get a perfect piece for my card. And look at that, isn't that stunning? I probably, if I had have paid attention, I probably would have done more of the sky and cut it from the bottom. Let's just have a look at that and see what that looks like. Because <laughs> I've got plenty of paper here, so I can. Yes, I love having lots of paper. It's like, yeah, I'll use that for something else. We can use that on the inside. Because I do like to have a little bit of space, particularly because we're going to be putting flowers on top of these flowers. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to go like so. I'm just going to chop off. I'm just eyeballing it, but I want it to be... So I'm just guessing that it's around here where the leaf is. So that's going to be my gauge. I'm doing a lot of eyeballing today. And then I can flip it over like I did before. So just line it up. Flip. And yeah, there's my score. <laughs> Along with the asperity, what treats are you having? Jesse um, Scott, Jesse, our assistant, is coming to our house on Sunday with our friend Sarah, who we have been cruising with. 
So we're having a seafood feast. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're having prawns and Bruno, get this, we're having calamari. Ah, how long has it been since we've had calamari? I'm like, why haven't we had calamari in our life? What, what happened? How did we forget about calamari? I don't know what you guys call it in the US. You probably call it calamata or something. <laughs> we've always got different names to you. <laughs> no. Calamari is the technical term for the squid's eggs. <laughs> I don't know why you would call coriander, coriander, cilantro. <laughs> <clears throat> so Kerry can't figure out the score line. So Bruno said um, to do it at three and two thirds of an inch. Does that sound right? Three and two thirds. Math is hard. Yes, it really is. Does that, does that fit right? Give that a go. Three and two thirds of an inch. Because you're basically just doing 11 divided by three. But if you want to do, what's another one that we could do? If you want to really have it properly three and a whole number by three. I think maybe that is the best option is two and the three and two thirds. Does everyone agree? Yes. Score two and so you're going to call. Yes. Oh, you call it calamari. <laughs> Do you want to know something really funny? You know that whole like put a shrink shrimp on the Barbie. We don't even call them shrimps in Australia. We call them prawns. If we had a shrimp, a shrimp is like, shrimp is like this. It's like really, really tiny. And we'd go, ew. Why would you put a shrimp on the Barbie? It's literally going to turn into like a little tiny coin. <gasps> Your favorite's lobster, Kathy. Bruno's allergic to lobster. I love lobster too. I love crab. <gasps> I love crab. I love, yeah, I'm such a seafood girl. Give me seafood. I love it, love it, love it. What are we doing next, kids? Pay attention, Kylie Batucci. Hey! This has actually got yellow in it, but I don't mind on this one. Why is that? Yeah, let's do the middle piece. So remember, we did 9.9, .9, so I'm just taking off three. So you would do like <clears throat> a sixteenth of an inch, maybe? Take it off. Yeah. Yes, you can always cut it smaller, yes. There is literally, you, you can totally go for this, like... You don't have to stick with, like, it has to be 11 inches. And I think that was confusing to me when when Sue was explaining it to her. She kept saying, no, Kylie, you don't have to stress. Like, just be free with it. And I'm like, but tell her the measurements. She's like, no, you, you just cut it on the edge, wherever edge you want, and then be free. And I was, yeah, struggling a bit with that. But it is actually that easy. Once you've done it once, you'll be like, oh, and it doesn't look, I must admit when I first started decorating it, I was like, oh, this does not look very good. Or even when I first made it, I was like, I don't know how this is going to turn into a card, but it really does make such a lovely card. Once it's all decorated and everything's in there, it's like, oh, I get it now. Uh, you do look pretty. You just have to grow up a bit. I think I'm going to have the same one at the back. What do you reckon? <laughs> what did Eric say? <laughs> do you mean to tell me you don't put a shrimp on the barbie? I'm so delusioned right now. No. And I never put my prawns on the barbecue. Who would put a prawn on the barbecue? I mean, my dad used to be pretty good at putting prawns on the barbecue. But... It's a very rare thing. I think that most Australians would eat our prawns. Like we buy them already cooked and they're already done for us. And we serve them cold with cocktail sauce. That's our usual prawn go-to. I, It's not very often I hear of people go, yeah, I had a barbie on the weekend and we had shrimp. What? I would literally look at them and go, are you nuts? Like, what? Have you been watching Crocodile Dundee or something? 
I need a little bit more off. I got distracted, everyone. So, particularly with small cuts like this, this is like tiny, 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 like one millimeter tiny. I have noticed that I could not do it on this trimmer. Like it would drive me nuts. So all you do is just score it first because then it's telling your blade where to go. Telling you where to go, blade. And then you can get these really small cuts. I don't know if this is a new thing, but I feel like it's a new thing for me. I, I literally discovered it by accident, but I really hope it helps you because it would frustrate me that it would fray and get really annoying. <laughs> I'm like... Stop fraying! I just want you to cut off one millimeter or one sixteenth of an inch. Just do what you're told. Behave yourself. I saw the back and I went, oh, I'm not going to change. No, I'm not going to change. Whee! And the good thing that this is on the back is no one's going to see it. <laughs> so you don't even have to like remove the, the mark. Sorry, we need to go this way. Yes. It's coming together, peeps. Ignore the other side. I know, it breaks your heart, but just keep telling yourself, it's okay, you've got more, you can buy more, you can buy more. It's okay. <laughs> Stick it down. Don't look. And that should be there. So isn't that just, like, it's coming together already. Look at this, peeps. Nice, simple card, and it looks like it's going to be complicated, but it really isn't. So you have a few choices here of what you want to do. I um, folded this one different to this one because I wanted to show you both, see how you can go both sides. And you can see that I've cut it at different angles. It's not the same angle. You know, this has more, it's like a higher front, but looks great. But I've just made sure, all I made sure that was this size, like the corner here, that is the standard card stock here in Australia. So by cutting it to the size of your, your standard card, then you know from your highest point, that's going to fit in your envelopes in your country. That's all I wanted to make sure of. So what we're going to do here is, on this one here, I did that. So we can decorate the inside. And I think putting the sentiment or the little part for us to write on, on the inside there will be great. Do I have any basic white? <gasps> I said whisper. Basic white in the house, peeps. Let's have a looky here. I'll grab some. Oh, still squeaking. Still a squeaky chair. And I sprayed it hardcore last night. I was like... Spray. So again, we'll go there. And we need this whole section here. So just come up a little bit. Yep, that looks good there. Get your pencil. Thank you, Amazon. And cut that there. You can go to um, Lisa's Crafty Favorites. She has a lot of things there if you're in the US of handy tools that she uses in her craft room. It's very smart. Now, I'll have a look at new comments that are popping up here. Oh, hi, Kylie. Yeah, all those kidlets. My goodness, you've got a house full of kidlets. Okay, and actually this afternoon um, we have a team member, fellow team member, Amanda Shields. She's actually going to be taking us through um, a craft class on Zoom. Isn't that exciting? That's what I love about being a crazy crafter. We do all sorts of fun activities together as well. I do like that one, but I'm going to just cut it down a little bit more. I feel like it's too big. You're taking up too much real estate. You're getting a bit greedy. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And stick that down. 
and I feel like I want to add a couple of things on here as well so you could add like um, little quotes or something like that if you wanted to do you know you don't have to just do decoration you could actually do some nice words but we'll do these bits too you don't have to do the back but I think it's nice like you've got all this paper we may as well use it all hey hi Elfie ah hi Kirsty so good yes it is stunning paper this is the new one that um you can only get if you're a stamp up demonstrator sorry <laughs> She's like, no! <laughs> I was having a moment with the design series paper. <laughs> yes. Our eyes get easily taken. Enamoured. Oh, it's a big word for today. My coffee must be kicking in. I'm enamoured with you. What am I going to do? I feel like I want to use this one, but I think I'm going to use that to cut out our flowers oh yes I do like that actually that background there maybe we can have those two because they look yes I think they they match each other lock it in I think that's half the battle actually with card making is decisions on what you're going to use because there's so many papers to choose from and they're all so beautiful and so we end up oh what did I cut there <laughs> Think I've got lots of paper. <laughs> oh, come on, don't laugh at me. <laughs> Kylie Batucci. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, calm down. I've got this one here. <laughs> That's a really funny one, that one. Oh, enough with all of you already. Done with you. <laughs> Have I even got that one again? What even was that one? <laughs> What's on the other side? Oh, it's that one. That's why I don't even go to turn it around. Because it's very pretty, this one, isn't it? Maybe we should. Maybe that was a good mistake. Maybe we need that one. They do go very well together, don't they? Yeah. We're going to change our mind and it's our prerogative. And this time I'm making sure I'm cutting out the right way. Whoopsie! <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. <gasps> so pretty. Actually, this one it needs to be cut down just that little bit extra. So before we cut, we'll do a little score here. Yeah, look at that. There is no way... No way I could cut that without that fraying. And this is not a new blade at all. In fact, it probably needs to have a bit of a change. <laughs> so I think I want to do it about, I want a bit of white space. So yeah, I want to just eyeball this. I mean, we could draw a line, but I'm just going to, you know, add the tip of the leaf there. It doesn't have to be absolutely spot on. Yes. And then I'll just lift it up a little bit to get that little space. Because remember our front cover was just slightly smaller. So I've just cut it slightly smaller. Voila. Oh, that looks so pretty. Yeah, it does look like watercolour painting, doesn't it? I'll actually... Oh, what have I done here? I've really cut that wrong. <laughs> Cutting down more. Actually, what I'll do... I have done this before because it's so annoying when you get glue all over your trimmer. Oh, my goodness. How many baby wipes came out? So just where you're going to be cutting, just wipe your glue away. Take it from me, I have ended up with glue everywhere. But we're going to leave that to dry for a little bit because then if you go to cut that, you're going to rip it. Ask me how I know. 
Ask me, ask me how I'm aware of this. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could even get your trusty <laughs> heat gun to just, you know, calm it down a bit. But yes, just give it a bit of time before you cut. But don't cut with glue <clears throat> because, yeah, it just, it doesn't work. And I know, I'm the master at making those mistakes. Okay, so we've got this one and we're going to do it here. Just be careful, I've got my glue there, so I don't want to get that too... So I mustn't, what happened was I probably didn't lift it up enough. I probably lifted it up to what this was. So I just had to lift it up a little bit more. I didn't give it enough, <clears throat> enough space. But easily fixed. We'll just chop it down more. And we're happy days. So just line that up first before we stick down. Yes, perfect. Oh, I'm glad you think it brightens up the car. I think so too. Have some more of the... And it sort of makes it look like it's two different cards too because you've got sort of one side that's more <clears throat> pink based and this side's more of the... What is the the color in here? Is it Daffodil Delight? Yeah, it is Daffodil Delight. Yeah, so I like that. It looks really, it's come up really nice. So I think this is dry enough now to chop into. So we just want to take off a little bit extra. Now it's still tacky, so you're probably best off cleaning your, wiping down your, um, trimmer straight away because <laughs> I would always do that wipe down my trimmer right away so see we've got a little bit here but if you have that furry edge then you can just get your snips oh, I don't have my snips here today we did a craft class yesterday isn't that exciting oh my goodness it was so cute it was with a group of oldies from our church oh, I've got a pair here they're probably not the, the sharpest ones though but that'll do. And like I said, yep, wipe down your trimmer just in case you've got some glue on there. I've got glue everywhere. Disgraceful. <laughs> this should happen after every single live. You just get baby wipes or some alcohol. Just give my trimmer a wipe. But be very careful of the blade. Look at all this mess on here. Disgraceful. Whose trimmer is this? <gasps> so bad. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> Don't copy me. It's like a parent that, you know, isn't a good example. Don't do what I do. Just do what I say. <laughs> just to hate that. Be like, whatever. Be an example to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Look, we've covered it all. <laughs> um, can anyone help Elfie with the with the measurements? <laughs> Elfie, this is one of those cards that doesn't quite have measurements. It's quite a it's an interesting card. <laughs> the only measurement is just the scoring, and I think we've have we worked out that it's three and two thirds? The score lines three and two thirds and here's the paper number one six one one three nine but I'm pretty sure you can get it in a bundle can't you Bruno can you get it in a full bundle let me have a look at online exclusive I know it looks like so you have the suite yeah, so you can get the suite where you have the bundle, the paper, and, oh, yeah, we're going to be using those dots too. So these, and they are loose, so just keep that in mind. They're not, um, so that's them there. So they're loosey-goosey. But, yes, you can have it in the, in the full kit, 
You've got the embossing folders. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? So lovely. But if you need that, this is the Australian dollars for those of you that are like, what are those prices? Oh my goodness, it's so expensive. It's Aussie prices. Now, I don't know about this front cover, but I feel like it doesn't even need flowers on the front because it's already done it for us. So I feel like we're going to just do a sentiment. Now, this one here, I do want to show you, though, how I did this because it's a really cool technique because I was like, oh, I don't have any pretty peacock. And I even thought maybe we've got it in our garage, like, waiting. Well, it's not even our garage anymore. It's a whole, whole other room. It's our storage room. <laughs> but let me show you how I did it because it's so fun and... I haven't done this in a while, to be honest, but it's the baby wipe technique. And I did it two different ways. Firstly, I did it this way, which is just stamping directly onto the stamp and stamping it, which I think looks gorgeous. Um, but Brenna said, why don't you try and boss resist? Because then it's going to look like these flowers on the paper, which it kind of does, doesn't it? It looks like I've taken it from the, from the paper. <laughs> sure, right now. How did you know I didn't put the lid back on? <laughs> oh, I was waiting for some accident to occur. <laughs> but let me show you this just in case. Should we try it with? Oh, I'll do it. We'll try both. We can do it. I've got all of it here, so and it doesn't take much really. We'll just have. A little bit of grid paper underneath or even actually the um whatchamacallit silicon mat g'day hi I've what's it going on oh do tell so you know this mm -hmm. i think if you put that across there and then no. you have a base for the flower no, I, think it I can't needs a cover flower. it. I can't cover it. It's so pretty. Bruno, when you make your Z fold card, you're welcome to okay, do it any I'll way you that. like. <laughs> it looks, by the way, everyone. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, nice It shirt. looks really good. Does it? And when you press the buttons and you go to the square, I'm just like, <gasps> so profesh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how big the comments are. I know, they're huge. They're right for my eyes. <laughs> are you making fun of my eyesight? <laughs> so I'm going to do the lighter one. We'll do a couple drops of this. You don't actually need a lot. I mean, I've put four, but you probably don't even need that. This actually makes a lot. <laughs> you know so well, Elaine. How did you know these things? If you're like, I'm tired. I've done my work today. Bruno, come and pick up the things for me. <laughs> now, I'm putting them in the... I'm putting the darker in the middle because I do want to contrast here. But play around with it because, you know, there really is no right nor wrong. And it's just a lot of fun. So let me just show you what you can do. So firstly, we'll actually... I probably should have embossed these, but that's okay. It stays there. It doesn't go anywhere. So I've got the old paper that I used from the previous stamping that I did. So good to go. And I could possibly put these on together, actually. Ugh, all of my blocks need a clean as well. Graceful. Who brought this person along? <laughs> I'm too busy having fun. Oh, cleaning. Ugh. Yuck. So really, really hammer it down. You want a nice coverage of the embossing buddy, which gets rid of all of the static and gives you a really good canvas to work on. Then we're going to do our Versamark. So I might actually do it this way round because it's easier with the bigger 
block and then I know that it's got good coverage and I'm not missing anything. So stamp that down and you can do it on your Stamparatus so if you really want a clear crisp image like more if I'm doing like a basic white or a um, basic black embossing I really want it to be strongly defined so you could totally is it even going to fit on <gasps> that would be so annoying literally just have to do it a little bit higher oh you'll all forgive me I'll do a piece here and then we'll do another one Please forgive me. We'll do another sheet with another one on. I think I've got one here. <gasps> I brought a lot over. That's good. Plenty here. Good. We'll do lots of them. We'll have some fun. Oh, I'm so glad they bought back embossing buddy. My goodness. I literally I couldn't live without it. I even got a Stampin' Up demonstrator to make some. <laughs> Cuz I was like, what am I going to do? I need my Stampin' Buddy to get off all this static. And then to think that they bought it back with the tray, I was like, "Oh, this is just so good. It literally is the only thing I've ever kept of Stampin' Up is the tray." Because I just, I could not depart with it. And it's the only retired item I've ever kept. So when they bought it back again, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is perfect. Yes. Okay, so we've got lots there to choose from. Lots of colouring that we can do here. So all we're going to do now is grab some, you could use white, but I prefer with this type of thing to use clear. I think it, um, that one's white. What else have we got here? I need to put it here because I can actually read it. Clear. <laughs> I can see everything on the computer. <laughs> it's so good. Now, because I haven't got a clear tray, I might have to invest in another set of embossing tools doesn't hurt to have double does it because I want another tray I've got one for my black one for my white and I just need one for my clear because I don't like to mix them because then you end up with bits of powder from the different colors and you don't want to taint them because then it would be called tainted love <laughs> okay that's happy and we've got some here I think we had three here didn't we yes and I love the fact that you can just dump embossing powder on here like empty the whole thing but then you can just tip it all back in so it takes you a while to use it all that looks very good. Good coverage. A little bit up there maybe. Oh yeah, that's good. That was just the flower. And then you just pick up your grid paper and dump that baby back in there. And I prefer, I know some use it in the trays with a spoon and things like that, but I just found that... Um, it went off for me so if you're not getting a good crisp embossed image maybe your powder has gone off particularly if you've had it for a while Achoo! excuse me Achoo! wow that was a good one something got up my nose then <laughs> off embossing buddy uh, powder 
<laughs> so yes, um, I just keep it in the trays, in the the little holder it comes in. So you can see here, it's really, it's just going to disappear. You see that? Now you really want to make sure when you're doing this technique, <clears throat> emboss resist, it's called, you really want to make sure that you've heat set everything. Because if you haven't, you're going to just brush that powder right off. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <clears throat> Been there, done that. So just take a good amount of time just to really make sure that everything's melted. You can even come back in again. I know, isn't that beautiful? Wonderful. And we'll come over to these ones. Ah, oh, hi, Nancy. Yeah, it's great. Have is it looking all right on the TV? <clears throat> You've got me on the big screen. <laughs> Hi, I'm on your t on your TV. Hi, Caitlin. We've got some good looking embossed, clear embossed flowers here. Isn't it a pretty flower? I keep saying to myself, I don't need any more flowers. And then Stampin' Up! bring out a new flower and I'm like, oh, I really like that flower. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nancy. You're so cute. <laughs> so let's have some fun. Woo! Now, what has happened over here, and look, it really doesn't matter, but you can see it's just spread there. So we've got plenty of ink to play with, and I'm just going to actually snip that because I want to keep the other side of the baby wipe for our other colours. But let's play with this one first. So you, there's really no technique to this. It's literally just slather it on. <laughs> now you could you could sort of dab it a bit. <clears throat> Not this dab, <laughs> but this dab. And I like having the silicone mat because then it's going to not sort of go through. And if you wanted to, you could you know try different techniques. So we'll do we'll do the dabbing here for this one. And then on this one, we'll, we can do some swooshing. So it's got quite a lot of dark color. So you could sort of fold it over to the area that's got the lighter color. And you're going to get a lot of ink on you, I will warn you. So this is this swooshing. Ooh, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? That gives it a different... And I've just moved to a different side. So if you want... Like, I moved it to the darker bit for the middle. And you can see here that it's picked that up. So what can we try here? Let's start with dark and then go light. <laughs> so fun. So that could be another idea where you just sort of have your light and your dark on two sides. What do you reckon, peeps? 
And if you want sort of splatters of the, the dark in this little spot here, then you can dab. So you can sort of use different techniques, really, couldn't you? Well, we just did. <laughs> Let's just do that then. So once we cut that, you're going to see such beautiful, like, tones of colour. And they all look different. They're all going to come up different. And even this one here, look, I love that look even without cutting. I think that that would look really cool on a card where you just sort of don't do the whole, like, because I know a lot of people will do emboss resist and they'll colour the whole thing. But I think, yeah, just leaving it looking like it's sort of coming from the ground or something. So we'll cut those out and we'll see, you'll see it looks completely different once we cut it. But I feel like, yeah, these could be something that you do directly on a card base. This one in particular, I think, looks really cool. And you could have a few of them that you highlight. So this one here, let's have a little bit of a play of this one where we do <clears throat> the Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay and Old Olive. So your Pacific Point, you know, you, you're obviously not going to have a huge amount of this. So we'll just do two drops of that. Oh, you've never seen it like done by, oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Megan, on Thomas's computer. <laughs> Thanks. You've never seen it done by. And you watch a lot of videos, so that's a big compliment. <laughs> you're always watching YouTube videos. She's always like, I've got to start watching YouTube videos and actually do them. <laughs> so I've got a few drops, a few more drops, probably four or five of that. <clears throat> and then we can bring in our green and we can go from the outside, but we can also add some here in the middle too. And <clears throat> just to show you this, because we haven't shown you this one too, but what you can do is grab this and go straight onto your stamp. So it becomes like a little ink pad as well, which is really cool. I just want to bring this over so that I can stamp on here. So that's that. Isn't that beautiful? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? So the baby wipe technique is just, I don't know. If you haven't tried it, it's just a really, really fun, just, just to play with colour and play with ink. And you get your hands very dirty, but it's, it's water-based, so no drama. You can clean it after. So let's do the different ones. So we'll do the dab. And yeah, it's going to tone down after. That's the dabby dab. Then we'll do the swoosh. And the swoosh, I think, can't combine all of them. So I think if you're going to do the swoosh, you kind of want to know where your inks are. So you can swoosh that color there. Swoosh that color there. So you're going to get like different color combos depending on where you've placed your ink so you just sort of want to know where you've placed them and not sort of combo it otherwise you're going to get your full color combo whereas i really like the look of this one just by sort of changing direction and knowing where your color is you can change the look makes me look like an artist and trust me I'm not it's a Picasso <laughs> I love that that's so much fun Whee! Yay! <laughs> so there you go and look look how much is still on there you saw how many drops we put on there there's so much ink that stays on there so Go for it. You can stamp a whole heap out. Like keep going until you run out of ink if you like. 
blah 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 and just have them all ready to go I think I've got a piece oh hello there goes some paper what a surprise Carlo's got a stack of paper over here Oh, so pretty. Look how gorgeous it is. And I think oh, we didn't try it with the um, the flirty, did we? We'll have a go of doing that. Because we've still got some of that ink too. So it's starting to wane now, but it still looks really, really nice. And we'll give this a little bit of a wipey wipe with the bit that isn't coloured. And we'll put on some of the flirty and the petal pink. <laughs> Sounds like a Nike. Just do it. Move over you. Get out of there. You've done your job. Yeah, so the pink, I think you'll have to, because I put so much flirty in the middle, if you want that sort of gradient, then probably just really few drops of the flirty because it is very strong. But I must say that that combo looks like blushing bride. <laughs> so if your blushing bride's playing up, here you go, peeps, just mix. <laughs> mix flirty flamingo and petal pink together. And look, you'll have a perfect blushing bride. <laughs> Hi, Lynette. Good to see you. So, yeah, there you go. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We're always playing around here, experimenting. So I'll cut a few of these so that I can show you what they look like. Once you've cut them, because they really do take on a different look once you've cut them. And yes, I'm cutting these down so that I can use my <laughs> beautiful little Burr Blur Mini. I love a bit of Burr Blur. And I am 100% not shy in cutting down my cardstock just so that I could use my little favorite little mini. Because, you know, if the cardstock's the wrong size, it doesn't fit. It doesn't run through. So I'm happy to do surgery just to use it because he's so cute. So we need this one and this one. Come over here, little boho blue. What are you doing all the way over there? I need that and I need some plates. What plates am I going to use? I think I'll do the <clears throat> oh my dabbing and swishing swoosh <laughs> swoosh that and dab there good that looks great now with something like this you may want to because it is like the finer sort of um dies where you need it in a certain spot you will probably need some tape washi tape whatever tape you want to use I've just used like a post-it note tape and then you could possibly even do the next one too while we're at it hey Oh, 
was caught cutting down cardstock. <laughs> yes. It's just, I don't know, there's something about using the mini. It's just, particularly for videos, I just love the convenience of the mini. It's just, it's not heavy. It just feels light and easy and happy. And it's just, and it's a great travel buddy. Like if some of you travel and you want to take your craft with you, well, this is exactly what you need. You need one of these minis. And remember, you can only get the Boho Blue until the end of this month. Check that out, people. Ah, and my fingers are the proof in the pudding <laughs> that we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at all the ink everywhere. Look at this hand. <laughs> but that's part of the fun, getting all messy and inked up. <gasps> look at that gorgeousness and see how it's even like missed parts here but I love that look like someone even said it looks like a little bit like um watercolor it really does have that look to it so I think the swooshing and moving is definitely a winner this one sort of has comboed all as one and that sort of looks a similar color so yeah, the swooshing but moving it from side to side. And let's have a little look at these. You can keep the, the post-it notes on so that you're not you're making the most of it. So I'll just line up as much as I can. Every, just look all around the outside and you'll see it's very close. And then you can pop that in place. <clears throat> And another one here. Okay. <clears throat> Moment of truth. So this one here probably has more, you know, your light and then your dark, like nice shading. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy, Kayla. Yes, you'll do a great job. You will love it. And Baby Wipe is so fun. And especially using, like, I've got all the reinkers. But if you don't have the reinkers, don't stress. You could just, um, you could stamp it on a block like your ink pad and you could pick it up with your baby wipe so if, I'll give you an example so say you've got Knight of Navy as one of the colors that you want to use don't um, go directly with your baby wipe on here because you, you'll end up with a spot that's not quite right so the blocks are great because you can just stamp directly on here and then come over with your baby wipe and pick up the colour that way. So, you know, depending on how much you want. And even if you wanted to, you could sort of stamp the block in different colours. Just make sure you're not overlapping them. And then you can pick up that colour and it's going to do the same thing. But, you know, it's obviously a little bit easier with the the um, droppers and it's probably not going to have as much intensity you'd like you'll have to really scoop up a fair bit whereas the ink is it's like a quite a solid amount of ink that's been put on there so much so that it's gone through twice through the whereas yeah this may not have the same well let's just give it a little swoosh but if you've got two different colors here uh, maybe on here so you could even do like one layer and then swoosh, come in with another. So, you know, don't stress if you don't have the reinkers. You can sort of have different, you could have different colored baby wipes and control it that way rather than sort of trying to control it all in the one spot. Just have different colors and come in with each color and layer in different spots. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> My no boho mini. <laughs> Your basic white. 
<clears throat> but he's not basic at, by any means. He's loved just as much as our boho. Anyway, I'll have to do a little bit of a tardy tardy afterwards with my hands. <laughs> so just keep that in mind when you're about to touch your card. <laughs> I might actually just do another good wipe and just see if I can get some more colour off here because we don't want to transfer that to our beautiful card that we've just made, do we? That would be devastating. <gasps> the joy of crafting. <laughs> it really is the joy of crafting. This is evidence of fun being had. But yes, you just have to be very, very careful when you pick up. If I know that it's not going to transfer, then I'm happy. Because I really don't mind having inky fingers. But just be very careful with all this ink around, just wipe it all off, get it all away. Ask me how I know. <laughs> you all know me so well. Uh, well, at least my block got a clean. That's one way of cleaning my blocks, isn't it? So give it another wipe. Excellent. So this one here, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to do some flirty flamingo. So we've got some an extra piece here from the bit that we cut, in fact. And we'll do a sentiment. What have we got for our... There's beautiful sentiments in this stamp set. So we could choose... I might even do this one here because it's quite a long one. And I think it will sit really nicely along the the edge there but they're all very very nice um sentiments there so i haven't used this one yet so he's getting a christening there we go should I pop that there i must say i like the space in this area much more now with our new new setup very exciting. You will enjoy it. Brian's done such a good job. I'll just have to give him another try. It's so amazing, Bruno. <laughs> Can we replicate you for lots of other people? <laughs> They're all missing out. <clears throat> now, we need a block. So I think we'll do... Oh, yeah, that one there should be good. Pop it on our block and it doesn't matter how we stamp this because we are going to um, cut it out so give it a good amount of embossing powder that'll take off all the static have our tray ready then we use our Versamark this is basically you could call it a glue but you can use it for stamping too which is really good it gives off a really nice image firm pressure push down but don't wobble <coughs> if you're getting like edge edge bits it's probably because you're wobbling. So be firm, but... So push down, but don't wobble. Oh, perfect coverage. Always check, just see, you know, if there's anything missing before you go to heat emboss. And if there's a little bit missing somewhere, just pull the, pull the powder back on again. If there's any like little flying bits but if you've used your embossing buddy really well like really push down a lot of powder on there then you shouldn't have any flyers it should just glide off but you could use your brush just check it all before you go to heat that 
looks perfect. So if you have used a lot of embossing buddy and you, you feel like there's powder still left there, just grab a tissue and you can just sort of go over the top like so. Just make sure that this is dry, but it dries pretty quickly. And then that'll just crisp, crisp up the color so that you don't have that powder still stuck on there. And then just tip your powder back and then I just like to have everything in my tray. I sit everything in here, my buddy, and then that all goes back in my drawer. And I just keep the color that I use, the basic white, I keep it in the tray that I use it in. And then that goes in my drawer. I took my nice snips. Actually, maybe Brenna can bring in my new tote bag. Because we took it to class. I don't think it's in here. It was a promo that Stampin' Up! were doing that if you sold um, a certain amount of card kits, you got a free tote. And it was amazing that that like, month we had our first kids class planned with kits. And we had so much fun with the kitties that um, my friend who organised it, she said, oh, can we do another kit class but with um, some oldies and it was so lovely because there was some husbands that came along and they were just there for the food <laughs> they were there for the scones but um, we just didn't say anything we didn't say oh, would you like to craft or we didn't give them a choice so we made all the husbands craft too and yeah some of them there was one that was in his 80s stunko Oh, there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? No. Look at that. Sorry, just screaming at the dogs. No. <laughs> no, don't you dare run in here. So, yeah, that's what we got for selling the kits from Stampin' Up. So, thank you so much, Stampin' Up, because it's a really cool bag. And it has all these pockets. And, yeah, our little kit could go in here. And all our scissors, our snips, and our glue. So, my favourite snips. Yes, they're the ones with the <laughs> ribbon on top. So we did the, what was the, oh yeah, there's the logo there. And it's in Blackberry Bliss. Yeah, I'm so excited. I was so wrapped when it arrived. But I was like, look, let's come. And then there's even like um, Velcro in the middle so that you can create like a little um, barricade. What do you call it? Like a little separator. So I will be using that for my swaps at all my Stampin' Up! events. <laughs> it's really good. So just keep an eye on those sort of things. Like don't miss out on, like whenever Stampin' Up! have a freebie or an offer, Bruno and I are always like, yeah, did you say something for free? Sure, <laughs> I'd love to do that. Because <laughs> then you don't miss out on getting cool stuff. And yeah, we had to do a craft class, but it ended up, we had so much fun that we did it again. And um, it's introduced new people to crafting. Like the men at the, at the end bit, there was a couple of them that I invited and they're in their sort of 70s, some of them early 80s. And when I said, oh, um, do you want to come along for a craft class? You can see one of them in particular, he goes, oh, I said, oh, well, you can just come and eat the food. Just see how you go. But yeah, not one of them poo-pooed it once we started them. They were into it. They were doing all these beautiful flowers with, <laughs> and, I, and I think they all felt very accomplished with themselves. I think they were actually very surprised at what card making involves and so I think it, it taught them something new which is always a good thing who said you can't teach an old dog new tricks <laughs> who lied who made up that fib
you totally can learn new things. And I was thinking, imagine getting to like the age of like late seventies and never have crafted before, like never done any form of paperwork or crafting. I just think it's really special to share what we do with other people. Yep. And even if they never make another card again, I was very proud of them. So we need our boho. Now this does definitely lend itself to using the adhesive sheets, but then sometimes the adhesive sheets can get a little complicated when it's a moving die like this. So I just wanted to show you how this die works. Sometimes you look at it and think, how does that cut out? What does it look like once it's cut? Because some of our dies lately, they give you a bit of a surprise when you cut them. You're like, oh, I didn't know it was going to look like that. So you can use your little doobie whacker. And this is how it pops out. So you just have your little pieces in here that you move. It's a very cool die, this one. I didn't want you to miss out. So Bruno's suggestion was to do, and it was a very good suggestion, Bruno. I'm sorry for poo-pooing you. But I just loved those flowers so much. I didn't want to cover them because you could do that and then have your flowers. But I may as well not have used that paper if I was going to do that. But I, I like that. I think it's building a an exciting journey. So with this, you can just, um, I think I stuck it down and then cut later. And I found that, that that actually was quite useful. And I just stuck down by using all of the little bold circles here as my gluing base. But I've seen some get a sponge and you can just sponge over the top. Use your silicon mat. I think that should cover them all, yes. And I'm just gonna pop it down the bottom here. Missed a little piece here. Where's my pokey side? I love these tools. I, I could not pick, so I did two take your pick tools. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't just want one. I want two. Don't make me pick. I love having these with the ribbon on top. So good. I know exactly which one my favourite snips are. So I'm just running it along the edge of the paper. So again, lots of eyeballing on this card today. And that just means I can have it run straight to that paper, to that edge. If I tried to measure it, it just, even cutting it, it just wouldn't work. So I found that was just the best and easiest way for me to use this die. But you do you, if that doesn't suit you, no problem. If you have a better idea. You could possibly put this on dimensionals. I don't think it would be, you know, it would just pop out like that, which actually wouldn't be. Let's try it. Wouldn't be a bad thing to do that. I'm allowed to change my mind. You all know it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a winner, this die. I could see it being sponged in different colours and it has a lot of potential. So remember, you can add this to your starter kit. If you join Stampin' Up! today, you can put this in your starter kit. 
So let's see what happens. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. I actually prefer it with a little bit of bulk there because then it's giving a little bit of shadowing behind there. Because you could even do a belly band with this type of card. But it is the sort of card, like I can see someone putting it on their mantelpiece like this. like their little. And I've been to my friends' places where I've sent them a card. I've had some friends that were going through cancer treatment. Um, some of them had some things going on and I sent a card. And we go to their house and it's sitting on their like main cabinet, like in their lounge room. And it's like, oh of our cards and they usually do sit them up like that so what do you think everyone i mean we could literally keep going <laughs> there's no end to this card you can keep decorating and adding new things but i think that's a really really good card what do you reckon are you going to give it a try some of you i know are trying now did you work out the measurements for the um us peeps can you believe them? Look how gorgeous they look. <gasps> so pretty. Oh. They're a little bit more blue than these ones. But yeah, I think that they would suit that pretty peacock. Just like in the time being, because I don't have pretty peacock, I'm like, what do I do? How am I going to bring in a, a blue color? But I think that that would, yeah, that would look good. And you could even add in here some of those beautiful dyes, the leaves. I think they're just so pretty. Look at how they come up. And actually, let's just use some of the loose. And I will put the lid back on. <laughs> some of the loose ones. I think some were very shocked to see that these were loose because they did look like they were adhesive backed. But they're not. But thanks to our handy... Take your pick tool. He comes to the rescue again. I'll just show you what it looks like. So I think I'll grab a couple of these ones here because I think they'll look really good on the flowers. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now, one thing I did notice about these gems is I actually really like the other side. Like the side that you put down. There's actually more pizzazz, <laughs> if that's a word. But it feels like there's more pizzazz on the other side. So I wonder if we can glue it down the wrong, you know, wrong way up. But I actually really like the other side in terms of how it catches the reflection. Um, this is like a little bit more subdued and muted colour. But you can see when I turn it around, it's got like this mirror sort of really like blingy look to it. So let's give that a go. Let's see if we can put them down the other way. <laughs> just because, you know, why not? Let's, let's just try the opposite direction. So I'm just, all I did was put, you know, you're going to need a good amount of Tombow because we're putting something circular. Because not a flat base. So you want to give it time to just really adhere to that base because it's it's not going to have that flat surface like you normally do. Let's see if you'll stay. I'll try it on this one. You can use both sides and this is why I like having two take your picks because for something like this you can be Edward Scissorhands. Um, and yes, perfect for a shake card, these loose. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I might even add a little... I think you really need a good amount of Tombow glue if you're going to do it this way. Um, we need this one. Ah, I've got them on the wrong. I mean, this still works. Because you're just wanting to release it from the... Just give it good time to dry. Now, I did get a little bit of the Tombow glue on the top here. So just be careful of that because that will ruin the... I might actually start from scratch on that one because it will ruin the shine. 
We want you to shine. I'm going to clean you up with some baby wipes. Oh, the baby wipes have been given a good use today. I was happy that so much came out. <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's like, I pulled out one baby wipe and four came out. Okay, I've given you a good clean. You've had a bath. Add a little bit more glue. So yeah, I think you just, if you're going to do it, stick it this way up. You just need to be patient, which patience is not my best quality. It's something I'm trying to work on. Oh, a glue dot is a brilliant idea, Laura. You're a smarty pants. See, brains trust. Collective brains trust. Ooh, I think I've pushed down too hard. I was getting distracted. But yes, I agree on the glue dot, Laura. In fact, that would be instantaneous. And no glue. Ah, oh, perfect. Let's try it now. Although Bruno did use all my glue dots. P.S. Bruno has a big apology to make. Don't you, Bruno? Public apology. We found the tear and tape, people. <laughs> it was in an upcoming order. But, I, oh, do I have any glue dots? Do you have glue dots, Bruno? I think I need to order them. Because we kind of went crazy with glue dots with a project that Bruno made last week. With all the hearts. <laughs> Did you see all the hearts he used? <laughs> it was like, wee! <laughs> oh, here we go. Is this the glue dots? No. Where's the tear and tape? Didn't you take it with you? No. <laughs> no, I don't need terror tape. I need glue dots. But the terror tape is here. It is in the room somewhere now. Look, it was literally here. <gasps> it is here. <laughs> I did tell you to take it last night. I said, this is your chance to take the tear and tape. Because otherwise it, it will hide in the vortex of Kylie's craft room forever. Oh, you did have it! Oh. Look, everybody. Here's the tear and tape. It came with the order for the online exclusives. So, I apologise, Kylie. Oh, thank this you. This is for you. Oh, thank you. You can keep that one because I stole yours. No, did you take I stole yours back. back. Yeah. <laughs> So here's some glue dots. <laughs> I'll give you just a sheet. Gluey glue dots. <gasps> just a sheet, but you took all of my glue dots. I ordered some more. You're forgiven. <laughs> so, you know, some of you say, oh, it'd be so much fun if my husband did crafting. Would it? Would it really? No, it's fun. <laughs> we just fight over stuff. And then he says, oh, I've ordered it. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty good to have a husband that orders your craft supplies for you. <laughs> <clears throat> so what I would do, let's try this other way. So we get one of the big ones. Let's try Laura. Laura's way of gluing this down. I think it's genius. So you can stick your little, whatever you call it, in belly. And you might just need to tuck in a little bit of your glue dot because it's going to have a little bit of overhang, which is fine. So you just sort of sneak it in underneath. No one will even know that there's a gluey glue there. And then you can lift off like so. So you can create your own little... I mean, I'm making things difficult for myself because, you know, I love to do that. But only because I really like this other side more than the sort of muted tones on the other side. And voila. Oh, that's so much easier, Laura. You are a genius. But it did get a little bit tacky, that's all. From my... Just make sure you've got a new um, amount of... What do you call it? The glubby stuff, the green stuff, because it sort of has dirtied that a little bit. But I love it. 
It's so much better. Look, this guy's already gone wandering. He's like, no, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> so the glue dot is definitely the way to go. <laughs> but they're gorgeous, aren't they? So that is so, so pretty. I think even looking at this, like that actually is gorgeous. Let's flip it. We're allowed to change our mind. Because they're so pretty. But I just wanted to show you that option. Just in case you're like, ah, oh, like me. Ah, oh, but I want to use the other side. The other thing, these are a lot bigger than the ones I remember. So the other thing you could possibly do so that you're not handling it too much, like putting your, is just glue it into a little ball and then pull it off and put it where you need it. Come here, little one. Oh, there's Tombow there, so it's slip sliding away. <laughs> Look at it, it's going, nah, I'm not staying here. There's Tombow glue here. <laughs> so yeah, you do you. Find a way, roll it in a ball. But I do think, Laura, that is a genius way of doing it. You've just got to get your, get your, um, glue dot on there. Ooh, now the, um, <laughs> now the <laughs> we, we couldn't go a full episode without having a Kylie incident, could we? <laughs> just pretend that this is all perfectly acceptable <laughs> but that was really funny the um putty got stuck on the glue dot <laughs> so maybe don't use because look at it it's still stuck to the glue dot <laughs> I'm doing all this so that you don't have to make these same mistakes that I have <laughs> too funny oh maybe a yellow will be really nice and I've got look look at all the glue I've got stuck to me oh that is very pretty putting the daffodil the light ones oh <gasps> that actually is gorgeous see sometimes these mistakes occur all these random events <laughs> happen <laughs> so that we can change our mind <laughs> Because it's our prerogative. Yes! It's so pretty! <laughs> well, you know, sometimes these things happen for a reason, don't they? <laughs> we'll fold that over. Stick it there. There you go. You stay there, little one. And then put, pop that on top. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. What do you think, peeps? I really love those. Ah. So there you go. We've had a lot of fun today. <clears throat> How long have we been going for today? <laughs> You're such a micromanager, Bruno. Seriously, am I OB? Because if I did spill them, it would be hilarious and we'd all laugh together. So it's really fine. It's all part of the entertainment. <laughs> oh, some people, they're such perfectionists. Oh, life's so boring. You never know. You're going to know exactly what's going to happen next, which is nothing. Oh, snore. So boring. <laughs> Close the lid while she's taking him out. <laughs> yes, the yellow looks really good. Bruno doesn't really care. He just knows it winds me up. <laughs> he's like, whatever. He walks in here all the time and he's like, Anyway, bye. <laughs> Walks out again. <laughs> but it is pretty funny that we are very much the opposite. Don't they say that? Opposites attract? 
I think that's what I think that's what they say. I don't say opposites. I say compliment. He's my compliment. He makes up for my deficiency and I make up for his. <laughs> I show him how to have more fun and make mistakes. <laughs> and he shows me how to get organized. That's a great team. It's a great combo. So let's move them out of the way. Oh, covers a lot of the desk. So we'll pop these here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's worked out really well. Thank you so much for coming. Did you all learn something new today? Are you going to try something new today? Baby wipe technique, are you going to give that a go? What do you think of our new program? Should we do question time? I liked, I saw um, Lisa do question time. Do any of you have any questions? End it with the question mark and then I can search for a question mark and I might highlight you on the screen. Anyone want to know something? And I'm very happy with them. If it's too personal, I'll just say no, too personal, or I'll just ignore it. But go for it. You can ask anything. Anything you like. Oh, thanks, Judith. You're so cute. Oh, thanks, Mama Loves Crafts. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> I can't believe how good this looks. It's crazy. It's like a little bit disconcerting because I'm so like 20, 10, 1080. So I need, I need some more like corrective red remover now. <laughs> North American measurements for that card. So can anyone help Linda with the North American measurements for our card today? So if you have a piece of your North American paper or Canadian, you're going to be cutting at your normal size. So I think that's, let's have a look at the card templates. Does anyone have the card templates? They're really going to help you. <laughs> let's find out the American size card base and then that will tell me what your first cut is here it is here so it looks like it's eight and a half is your height isn't it <laughs> the dingo took my baby <laughs> that was a very sad story that one eric i think there's even a video on it but paul paul lindy she was accused of murdering her baby but in actual fact a dingo did take her baby i think they've proven it now but there's always been a mystery surrounding it whether she, she actually murdered her baby or not and i think she even went to prison for it yeah there's a few documentaries about it but it was very sad but they have have seen because they kept saying there's no way a dingo would ever take a baby but there has been situations where it's happened so it can happen. When's Bruno's next project? Did you see that, Bruno? <sighs> they want to know when your next project. Did you miss last week? Bruno and I crafted together. It was very fun. Yes. Um, so who said something about ordering online? Ooh, Nancy's got some good measurements here. I think Nancy's cracked the US code. Is everyone, does everyone like this one? I think that's very smart. Thank you, Kathy. I was looking for you. I knew you'd come up with the goods. The Brains Trust has come up with the goods. 10 by 5 by 5.5, score and fold at 3.5 inches. Have you all got that? Does that assist you? Whee! Go, Nancy! <laughs> You're a genius! Does everyone agree? Give thumbs up for Nancy if you agree. Good job. I really like that. I think that's an easy way of doing this card. And in Australia, I did the normal size, which is 29.7, the weird amount, um, and then just cut it down 
14.9 or 14.8, whatever you prefer, and then scored at 9.9. .9. I know it's a bit strange. Lots of strange numbers, but look what it created. Was it worth it? Yes, sometimes strange measurements do work out very well. <laughs> so if I put it here, and your angle, like when you're cutting your angle, it really is just like a case of um, winging it. Just as long as your, your one highest point is from the corner, and then it really doesn't matter what angle you come down at. Because you can see both of these cards are different angles. And yeah, this one, this one I cut more off. But you're going to be, you know, doing the measurements like I did. So if you go back, you'll see a lot of it is eyeballing, which can be hard for some of us because we do like to be told, you know, these are the measurements and this is exactly what you need to do. But this kind of, it's quite a free-flowing card, if we can call it that. So I think 29 by 7, 29.7 centimetres by, 40, I use 14.9, and then score at 9.9 .9 centimetres. So that's, that's what I did for metric peeps out there. And hopefully that works for you. Look, the, the card had a little bit little bit less at the front but I was okay I'm okay with that because it kind of leans itself to open yes now did I miss any other questions let's have a look here scroll up to Linda Linda Lowry's question so Linda oh yes I can even use the search isn't that exciting Linda. Is it going to search? Oh, no, it didn't search for it. Oh, no, in here it will. Linda. <laughs> That's so cool. It did bring it up. So Linda says, I haven't seen Stampin' Up! in a while. I've used, used to have a local rep who moved away. Can I order online? Absolutely, Linda. That is a very good question. Let's pop that on the broadcast. So depending on where you live around the world, there's going to be demonstrators in your local area. You can go to order and if you don't have a local rep, you can actually say, look for a demonstrator in my area. However, we always recommend that you do your research and find out what you're looking for. Say for instance, if someone was looking for face-to-face -face classes, we would not be their demonstrator of choice here in Australia because <laughs> we do everything online. So you have to work out what you're looking for in your demonstrator of choice um, maybe they have some sort of loyalty program or they might have um, a customer card that they give you. We give 12 exclusive classes every month for free to help our customers creatively. So maybe it's creative support that you need from the demonstrator that you order through. So just do your research. Don't just jump into, oh, I'll just go to the person that's closest to me and um, if the person closest to you fits all of the things that you're looking for, well, great, go to that person. But just do some research. Find out what your demonstrator can do for you and you'll find that there's a lot of business demonstrators out there who are doing incredible things to give their customers the best customer service possible because they take their job very seriously. Now, some of you out there are demonstrators and this is a good time to talk about you know, how you can improve. Um, time and time again, we've been <laughs> told that we steal customers. No, that's not a thing. You can't steal a customer. Um, a customer chooses to leave or shop with someone else and we are 100% for that. And if someone leaves us, we know that it's because we aren't giving them what they need. So it's good for them to go somewhere else. Same with Team members, we can have team members leave and they can join with someone else. Well, that's okay. We're not the right fit for them. So just find who fits for you. I think that's the biggest thing is don't just order and think that's it. If you're ordering at the moment and you're not hearing from your demonstrator in any way, no, this is not acceptable. <laughs> 
it's time to look for a new demonstrator. And if you're a demonstrator and you had someone order from you and you didn't contact them or send them a card, no, <laughs> what are you doing? If you want to keep that customer, you've got to look after them because there's so many demonstrators around the world. I think there's 50,000 demonstrators worldwide and you need to make sure that you give the best possible customer service to ensure that customers and team members are getting what they need. So do the research in either who you join with or who you shop with because it will make a huge difference to your Stampin' Up! experience. And if you're not getting what you need, go look for it. <laughs> go look for what you need. So I hope that helps. <laughs> and maybe Bruno found um, some other things here. We'll have a little look. That was very handy to be able to look for search for the comments was there any others that I missed Bruno tell her to log in with her device I love it <laughs> what time zone are we here Australian are we daylight time or standard time at the moment oh, I never know with daylight savings it's so confusing I love the grace you extend in choosing a demonstrator. Oh, that's very nice, Dawn. Thank you. Do you mean like making sure that the person understands what they need? Because I know there's so many people out there that just joined and didn't think about it and they haven't joined with the person that fits for them. Yeah. So I think it's really important to do research and work out who fits for you. Some people are not online some people don't like to order online. They, we cannot serve them properly. And I've said that time and time again. I said, please, no, we, we're much better online. You know, if you don't have Facebook, it's very challenging to connect with our team because that's where we connect. So you have to find who's right for you. It's very important. Yes. Um, oh, that's nice. Patricia said using the baby wipe technique as a, like a dauber. Hmm. Dauber. <laughs> yes, I like that. A dabber. <laughs> That's what we would say. So no other questions. Was there any, any other questions that you wanted to ask us both? Where's Nancy's applause? <laughs> Nancy! <laughs> Well done, Nancy. And yes, everyone agreed with you, Nancy. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, doesn't look like there's anything else. But I've been enjoying looking back at all your all your comments the person that is the right fit yes yeah it's very very important because we all have different personalities and some don't suit others hi, Bruno hi, Tucci. hi. did i miss any comments no. i just wanted to tell you i don't know if you knew about that one so when you i did oh <laughs> i didn't actually say that so thank you no problem ah oh, you're a legend Yes, Denise, we'll definitely do a card with the wreath kit. Yes, I definitely want to show you that. And we'll have lots lots more um, creative ideas using this beautiful suite of products. So just a reminder, <clears throat> you're bowing in your living room. <laughs> Good job, Nancy. <laughs> so just a reminder, all of these products will only go live to customers on the 1st of March, but they are available now to add to your starter kit if you wanted to join. And if you're a demonstrator, you can get your hands on these products now. So do not delay, run, <laughs> go straight to your online ordering and have some fun. Go shopping. Have a great time. <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's lovely seeing you all. I can't believe, I was, I was waiting for some curly questions. Like, you know, why am I using pink now? <laughs> um, Randy made a good comment here. I helped Randy find her upline in Canada. So I usually give a list of different 
demonstrators that I know are working their business and doing incredible things for their customers and their team members. So yeah, we have a good list of people that can help you. And if you need support, yes, I think that's all. I'll put a question mark here and make sure I haven't missed, missed any questions. Oh, that was so lovely that Gina jumped on. And yes, I got a fun new toy, Megan. <laughs> Is that Velum? <laughs> and Bruno put the joining link up. That was good. Do you remember Dawn French sticking her whole head into a chocolate fountain? Oh my goodness, I have to Google that. I have not seen that. <laughs> Does anyone have any tips for storing stamp pads for any length of time in a storage unit? That's an interesting question, Elaine. Are you finding that they're drying out? Is that why you're asking that question? Because we've had no problems with our inks. And I think I do like what Lisa does now and just replace them. <laughs> but I love my re-inkers, but a lot of times I just replace the whole ink pad because why not? Because we can. Can <laughs> you put the lid on the... <laughs> uh, good. Well, I think that's everything. Lovely to see you all. Oh, Donna, do you have any technique you can show from vel for vellum? Interestingly, I was watching a live from Lisa recently and she did incredible cards using vellum. So definitely go over there and have a look because it was one of her most recent ones. In fact, it inspired me. I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best. She did like sponging and embossed them. So I think these folders would really lend themselves to being embossed in vellum, these brand new online exclusives. Um, but yes, I definitely would be up for the challenge. And... Kirsty, anyone have any good tips for storing embossing folders? So we actually store all of our dies and embossing folders in some IKEA trays. In fact, I'll get them for you to show you if my chair wants to let me walk away. <laughs> it's stuck on the it's stuck on the plastic below. But these are the trays that we use. So we have these um, Ikea trays and they're super handy if it's going to hopefully zoom properly. I'll move in a bit closer because it's probably confused. But that's what we put them in. It takes a little bit of time to focus. But yeah, they're really handy. And so we have bigger ones that have the dies and the embossing folders as well. So they're really handy. And yeah, you just get them from Ikea. And then they go in my shelving behind. Good. Any others? You're all very quiet today. Hi, Bev. Good to see you. Stamp pads into Ziploc bags. Keep them dark. Hmm. There you go. Learn something new every day. Excellent. Thanks, Wurji. Well, it's lovely to see you all. Oh, three hours away from Ikea. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's so good to catch up, and I'm really excited about our new system. This was the first time trialing. We thought we were going to attempt it with a team live, but we ripped the Band-Aid off and gone live. We do have to work out why Facebook isn't happening, though, so bear with us and um, we'll get that all fixed up but thank you so much for being here today thank you for all your comments for liking for sharing for subscribing um i don't know if we told you but we we went past twenty five thousand people oh, can you believe it we're almost at the hundred thousand <laughs> no we've got a little while to go before i can get a plaque for my wall a hundred thousand is <laughs> is our goal because uh, Lisa just achieved it, like, oh, it was a little while ago now. But so cool. I saw her unboxing of the YouTube play um, plaque. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, I want that so bad. So please keep sharing. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, Carrie. I'm so glad you like it. Yay! <laughs> thank you all very, very much. And we'll see you next week for some more inspiration and fun and laughs. Because, you know, <laughs> we've got to have a bit of a laugh, right? A bit of a beverageino and some fun. And thank you all so much. You did so well today. So proud of you all. And we'll see you next week, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.